action. Welcome back, Bucking Broncos. I don't know which way I'm supposed to look. I'm going on a little trip and I'm gonna live in my Bronco. Right in the back, <laughs> right there. First off, I lost 30 pounds. Congratulations, you look great, thank you. I lost 30 pounds, so now I'm celebrating by going to stuff my face on a food vacation. So I don't exactly have a plan on where I'm gonna sleep and stuff. Uh, that's part of the fun, right? This is gonna be the first time I live in my Bronco, not at a camping ground. So finding showers, charging my batteries, sleeping somewhere safe and secure that I'm not gonna get in trouble at. These are all challenges I'm gonna have to overcome right now. Also, I have a whole new setup for sleeping in the Bronco. This is my sixth iteration. Can you imagine an image more beautiful than this? I just arrived. It's my first time back at cookout since I left the South years ago. And boy, am I hungry. So you always know you're in a cookout when the cups are stacked higher than anyone can even reach them. And if you've never been to cookout, first off, they have almost everything. Quesadillas, burgers, chicken sandwiches, they have chicken nuggets, they have french fries, onion rings, cheese curds, hot dogs, corn dogs, hush puppies. I love their barbecue pulled pork, they have coleslaw, they have Cajun ranch wraps, the best milkshakes. Look at all those milkshake flavors. Look at them. And here's my first dose of Southern lovin'. I used to come here, $6 I would eat. That was with the drink. I just spent $16. I don't know what we're gonna do. Actually, I would like to take a shower. Let's go take a shower. Okay, so I uh, just bought my first shower at a gas station. All right, so let's first talk about the shower situation. If you're not a professional driver, you won't be able to get professional driver status on the Pilot app, so you won't be able to see what the weight is for the shower, order it, get rewards points, all that good stuff. You have to go to the register, and instead of buying a soda or something, I go, one shower, please. Can I have a shower? I go, can I have a shower? But these showers are amazing. I've never felt so much water come out of a single shower head. So the whole thing costs $17. The receipt also has a code that you type in on the door to get in. What I really, really like is they have a sink, a mirror, a toilet, and a shower, the whole Kit Kat and Caboodle. And if you time everything out right, like in the morning, I got coffee, I ate some food, and then I got here at about the time I would need to use the restroom. So we got in there, restroom, shower, brush my teeth. I feel like a brand new man right now. So anyways, I will be sleeping in this parking lot tonight. I don't know what this is, but it's got a cool looking hat. I guess it's for books. I didn't know they made books anymore. Washington's office, how about it? George's office looks like a shed. What kind of a door is this, George? Hey, the first president's not gonna be the best president, right? He wants to sit. So we're back at the gas station. Hey, let me show you what we have going on here. I am parked outside of a Denny's. What's this place called? Flying J, Flying J Pilot something. I have covers on the front windows. It's mostly because I changed into shorts and I didn't want people at Denny's eating breakfast during lunch hours to see a pantsless man in his car. <laughs> the back windows are tinted. Okay, now it actually doesn't look like it very much. They're very dark from the outside. I don't think people see me. Now, maybe they do, I, I don't care at this point. Before I go to bed bed, I am gonna put covers on. One feature I love about my current setup is this chair is still open. The reason I'm not gonna put that stuff here is because this is how I get into the bed way easier. I wasn't sure if I would use this table. It fits back here really well, so if I wanna charge something, you know, I could put my laptop here and charge it while the car's running. Oh, this is truly the best ever setup ever. So I had a surprise nap. I woke up, it was a little dark, and I'd just been sitting in my chair here looking out the window, and also this window. This is where all the trucks are parking. There's a big lot back there. There's a lot of truckers with their girlfriend. 
Do truckers really take their girlfriends trucking? Are they doing it secretly? I mean, it's really cute, don't get me wrong. It's it's adorable, but is that legal? It is now 9.06 p.m. I had to start my car so that I could charge everything. So I have my MacBook charging right here. I have my AirPods charging up there and my phone charging as well. I can go right inside. They have a lobby, chairs and everything. I could just go in there and charge it. But two different things. One, I'm more comfortable in here. And two, can I charge all this stuff just in the middle of the woods or in the middle of the city or whatever? The car's gonna automatically shut off in 30 minutes. I'm just gonna see like what that gives me on all my charges you like the lights though we had a successful night in the car 90% that's crazy my phone is at a hundred percent I basically have a closet right under my mattress I guess it's not a closet because you're not hanging anything it's like a safe it's like a hidden safe even though it's not safe okay so it's just it's a good place to put stuff I have a good place to put stuff under my mattress it is a beautiful day I'll be beautiful once I get a shower What better breakfast is there than cookout? All right, unfortunately on day one, it looks like we have an emergency. It looks like an animal made a nest in here. I had no idea. That could have started a fire. What I do think is leaking is my windshield wiper fluid. It could be coming from anywhere. All right, bring it on back, bring it on back. My poor little baby out there. Now a high quality restaurant's gonna have one of these in the dining room. A sink for me to wash my hands before I eat, after I eat, even in the middle of eating, because sometimes I get too excited. Now it's at this time that I want to remind you, I did lose 30 pounds. Can I live a little? Thanks a lot. Maybe I should go to a park. Those are free to park at. That's why they're called parks. How you doing? That is correct. What he's telling me is correct is that I'm incorrect. A state park funded by taxes that I pay, I'm not allowed to enter unless I also pay extra money to go to the park. Have a good one. Of course, you too. So $30 is two showers. I can't be affording that. <laughs> so with me losing all the fluids in my car, I'm going to call my mom and scare her. Hello. Mother. You have two kiddos. Well, did I tell you I'm in Virginia? No. You remember the restaurant cookout in North Carolina? Yes. So I drove there yesterday. And I proceed to tell my mom a boring story, but she loves it because I'm her son and she loves everything I do. Listen to this enthusiasm. Oh, all right, buddy. All right. Love you. Love you too. Talk to you soon. So I guess my Baba's doing chemo again. That's never good. Welcome to a state park that I don't know the name of. Because the state park that I wanted to go to, Skyline Drive, cost $30. And I can't really afford that right now. I said, is there anything worth coming here for? And they were like, well, there's a boat ramp. Okay, well, I don't have a boat. All right. Well, there's a cheeseburger with my name on it. I've been just driving around beautiful farmland. I'm supposed to be going to another really nice lookout. Hopefully they don't charge me money. Look at the trees outside of this person's house. Oh my goodness, I I'm having a wonderful time. Look at this road, look at that dirt in my windshield. I can't even wash it off because my windshield wiper blew it all leaked out. Uh, so yeah, I'm still having a good time even though I'm looking through bug guts. I didn't expect the road to look like this, so let's go see where we're going. I'm already not the biggest fan of heights, but I love the views. And every fire tower is the same. A rickety, loud, scary, unsafe seeming structure that you're gonna now climb to the top of. Gotta do what you gotta do. My favorite part is the shaking and the creaking. <laughs> Sounds safe. Yeah. If I lived here, I would move into these brand new apartments. Why? Because they're brand new? No, because this is across the street. 
You don't drive three hours not to go to cookout a million times. Okay, I got the Cajun chicken sandwich, barbecue pulled pork sandwich, Cajun ranch chicken wrap, cheese curds. God bless the U.S. Honestly, I'm so obsessed with this new Bronco camping situation. I just rolled in here after eating too much food at cookout. Look at this, still in the parking lot at cookout. I always knew my pillows could go here, but I didn't think I could just put my head right against the... Uh... So I didn't even notice until I was editing this weeks later that I sat here explaining how good a headrest is to be used as a headrest. Now it is actually a Saturday and St. Patrick's Day. I think I'm gonna have to find an Irish poob. I'm just gonna go to a nice poob, a nice Irish poob. This is an Irish poob. Every day it's like this. Tell me why I was the only one with a green bottle on St. Patty's Day. And it's my favorite beer. You know how I know I'm old? Cause I got to the pub and I went to the front door to show my ID and he didn't even look at it. He just says, and I quote, you're good fam. Okay, thanks. Then I went to the bar, I asked if they had yingling, bartender answered, and I quote, got you. Not, not yes, not I got you, but got you. Oh, look at this. Okay, so I'm pulling into my house right now. It's kind of funny. So I could never quite get it perfect, but uh, this is what it looks like inside with all the windows closed. The only light is on this back seat here, which is coming from this. It's not too bad, right? Hey, hi, is this recording? I can't tell. I really overdid it. I went inside, I bought snacks. I, I shouldn't have done this. I spent a lot of money. I got um, orange chocolate, because I need that, of course, my doctor said. Fire roasted sweet corn, Mexican street corn, artificially flavored popcorn. I got it because of the artificial part. That's the part I like the most. Don't worry, we got some healthy stuff here. We got the grass-fed beef jerky. How could I pass this up? They were hiding this on the floor. This was under the shoe. <laughs> Is this expired? Well, we'll see. And to wash it all down, mmm, yum. I'm gonna review them all. Nah, I'm just kidding. Good morning, everybody. That was the best sleep I've ever had in a car. I didn't get cold at all. I just slept the whole night. I could lay here all day day but i have to go to the bathroom Ugh. i want to first show you what i do before i just open my door so now i see nobody standing there nobody parked too close fun fact i stayed in the same parking spot it's another beautiful day oh sorry buddy <laughs> clean up a little take a shower clean up the rest Go to cookout, order probably $45 worth of food, and then go home. So while I was packing for the last time, I seen a guy walking his dog, and he's actually a trucker. I just asked him if I could see his truck, and he gave me a full tour. The life of a YouTuber is full of adventure when you talk to strangers. So let me know in the comments if this interests anybody. If it looks like it'll be a big hit, I'll post it. If not, it, it might just be boring, so I don't know. Let me know. Now I need to make my way out of these trucks here. I feel like the trucks are gonna crush me. Let me tell you something. Truckers like to smoke cigarettes. There's cigarettes all over the place. Okay, just getting my clothes to go shower. I need socks, gotchies. All right, so what you do is you look at the customer number. 42, shower 10. I'm 48. I think I have a long wait. Shower guest, 48. Your shower is now ready. Please proceed to shower four. Okay, you hear that? Shower four. All right, so this is the first thing you want to do in a truck stop shower. I don't know why, but the first shower I ever took, the fan was on, and I was like, this must be what the truckers do. The water of these showers are so hot, and the water pressure is insane. Well, if you think about it, they have like 20 showers here, and they're running all day, so they really need a good water heater, right? Am I sad because it's my last day? No. I'm happy because I'm about to get cookout for like the ninth time. Here we are. Cookout for breakfast again. Believe it or not, this is my breakfast. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm doing an eating challenge. It's not many restaurants that have stuff like this on the wrapper. Thank you God for America. Thank you God for America. So you may have noticed every time I'm in cookout, there's a distinct music playing. That music is usually Christian rock or other religious centered music. And that's because cookout is an openly Christian restaurant. 
kind of like Chick-fil-A, except cookouts open on Sundays. And get this, they're open till like 4, 4.30 in the morning. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. Gotta go take a mid-meal bath. All right, now where was I? Where else can you go to the club till 2 a.m. and then say, hey, let's go out to that Christian restaurant to eat? I have to tap out. I can't eat anymore. It's good to know that in only three hours, I can go back to the south. That's fun.